Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It's Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting a Gemini full moon reading going for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venuses. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I do have a standard 52 card deck with two jokers in it. You are stressed out about something, Scorpio. I'm going to say that before I go into my spiel. Um, and then I'm going to clarify the 52 card deck with the Sun and Moon Tarot. It has 78 cards in it. And then I've pulled the Major Arcana out of the Aver Everyday Tarot. And Scorpio, I'm going to find out what your ancestors, your spirit guides, and your angel guides want you to know about what's going on down here in the 3D. This Gemini Full Moon, Scorpio, is going to be asking you, are you who you say you are? Are you living the life that you feel you're living or it, or have you put on some rose colored glasses? And so Scorpio, there's something here about this next one to six month period of time where your communication style is changing, your ability to emerge from who you are inside to be that person outside externally. Your introverted side is really being encouraged by your extroverted side to emerge, whether or not you resonate as an extrovert. And so Scorpio, this does feel like a really heavy full moon for you. Like my stomach's turning, my, uh, I almost feel nauseous. There feels like this move, and I'm actually recording this on the day of the full moon for you all. Like this feels like you're supposed to be doing something and it's making you uncomfortable that you have to go do this thing. Um, and it's directly related to communication. It feels like a burden it feels like you're closing out a soul contract and some sort of karma. You need to commit to closing this cycle out. Okay, so let's see here. Ace of Wands. Whoa, Scorp. Bruh. You're inspired by whatever's making your stomach turn. You're very clear on it. You feel positive about this. When it happens, when you, you are taking a step towards... Your soul's been trapped in a cycle. You've been carrying some burdens for several people for quite some time. And you're trying to get clear about how you feel. Some of you go, need to go like fishing or um, hunt. Like, I don't want to say, I, I don't know why I'm thinking of like hunting or fishing outdoors go camping there's there's this energy Scorpio of you going into nature alone like maybe only wearing your uh smart watch so that people at least know where your location is but turning off like the communication acts aspects like you like disassociating from reality and being in isolation with nature, like Mother Nature has something to teach you over the next six months. Five of Wands, or Five of Pentacles, excuse me. Five of Diamonds here, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're feeling a little bit left out in the cold. And I feel like telling you that it's yourself that's leaving you out in the cold. You're, over this next six months, you're really understanding your own emotions, how you feel in this life right now. How all your experiences have led to this feeling. I do feel like you... By the new moon... Wow. Five of Wands, Scorpio. A, ma a big change is coming. I feel like telling you that this change while it's not going to be easy, Scorpio. It is exactly what you desire and at the end of it, it's going to feel very positive. There is an energy in your life. There could be lack or poverty. There's something here about a lack of resources. There's an emotional attachment to something. You're emotionally attached to an energy that your soul needs you to clear up the contract.
I'm writing down this stuff so that I don't forget later. Um, I see you writing a lot, Scorpio. Um, it feels like you're sitting on a desk and you're, it, it almost feels like you keep writing a letter. Like you keep writing and writing and writing. It's almost like you're trying to clarify how you feel in a circumstance. You know that you don't feel right. You know that something feels a little bit forced. It, it's keeping you up at night. It got you in your head. And Scorpio, I feel like telling you that one of the ways that earth signs and water signs do really well together is that water is malleable. And it can be any form, whether it's frozen or liquid or it's... Um, you know, it's combustible, it can be fog. I mean, water is one of the most versatile elements that exists, if not the most versatile element, because it can mold to any situation. And the reason earth energy works well for water is that it gives it purpose to nourish it. And pencil and paper would be ruled by earth. And I feel like telling you, you need to take like a journal and pencil and eraser with you and go fishing. Some of you have never fished in your whole life and it's time to go try to fish. Find a friend that you know fishes or has been fishing and ask them to teach you. And while you're out on a boat by yourself or out at the water by yourself, take this journal and this pencil. And when you start to write and pour your earth energy into your emotions, you'll get clear on something. And this is, this is an energy that you're going to have to invest in. Over the course of the next six months, it's not going to come natural to you to do this type of thing. And it might not be writing. For some of you, it could be typing. I wouldn't say that using a computer or a typewriter is really the best way to, to, to commit to your emotions. But if that's your choice, you know, go ahead and do that. But Scorpio, it does feel like you're trying to get clear on how you feel in your life and what you desire and need and why, like, I since you like up at night, man, you're like really struggling at nighttime. There's an energy here. Let me get one more card here. Jack of Diamonds. Yeah, you're, it's like you want a fresh start, but you're afraid to take the fresh start. And you're really worried that it's not going to be successful. The Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Diamonds is on the bottom of the deck. This is about self-mastery. Not self-arrogance or self-loathing or self, you know, this is, um, Ooh, three of wands and the ace of wands. Yeah, you have a successful moment here. You need to invest in something that you really enjoy. So, okay, let me explain. Scorpio, I knew, I knew somebody in my past that was, had a Scorpio, I believe moon or rising. I can't remember. They weren't a Scorpio sun sign. And this person had another person in their life, and it was kind of a third-party situation. This Scorpio would tell me that their other energy, the other person that eventually became the reason that we're not speaking, not speaking. Um, the other person was very immature. It was hard to have adult communication. There was just no seriousness. The connection was dying. And when they would spend time with me, this Scorpio would have mature conversations of a 30 something year old level that was educated that had philosophy and spirituality and it brought value into this person's life when things separated for us uh i had to go my own way because this person abandoned all hope like i called out some of the issues that this person was having in their life and that it directly correlated to the way that they felt about our relationship versus the relationship that this Scorpio had with another person. And that Scorpio, in my opinion, was not living their truth because they felt most in harmony and at peace when, when they were the Scorpio was with somebody who was mature, who was stable, who was emotionally present, who didn't cause worry and fear and stress and anxiety and discord. And Unfortunately, that Scorpio went in the direction of sticking around with this other energy that caused them immature and insecurity and like procrastination, this, this energy, but that's where they had been for a really long time. The Scorpio abandoned our relationship completely and utterly, like just one day woke up and decided they couldn't face the hard conversation 
about their need, need to take accountability in their life and that the issues and the turmoil they were going with in life was directly related to the energy that they were surrounding themselves with, which was this other person that wasn't really healthy for the Scorpio. But as, as the person who was abandoned, it was my job to learn my lesson that not only I deserve better than what the Scorpio offered me, which was leaving me out in the cold and abandoning our friendship, but the Scorpio, it wasn't my job to teach the Scorpio that if they didn't want to listen to me, that they were they were wrong, that they had they were contradicting themselves. Um, how do you say that you like a friendship that's mature and secure, but then you choose to go down the line of immaturity and insecurity? That's fear. And so I feel like, Scorpio, it's something like that. You have some fear around relationships, about receiving a celebration, about receiving a wish come true. And until you clarify how you feel in your own body, in your own soul, and in your own actions, you're going to be up at night. You're going to be in situations that make you feel left out in the cold, that make you worry and have conflict and discord, okay? And this is that Gemini full moon, Scorpio. Are you who you say you are? Or are you abandoning all hope to something that's really good for you, that makes you feel mature and secure and being able to grow and have value and have like healthy conversations that are adult related? Or are you engaging in energies like a five of wands and a five of pentacles that leaves you out in the cold, that makes you feel on defense, that makes you feel um, wound up in like a tornado, you know? <clears throat> you have a fresh start here, but you have to be willing to sit with your emotions and figure out what that fresh start is. Okay, 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, with the Queen of Hearts, Queen of Cups. Something's falling apart over the next six months. And it's because you're getting clear on how you want to feel, how you do feel, how you don't want to feel. <sighs> mm, some of you, there's a 10 of Swords on the bottom of that. Something's dead gone and over. There is an energy in your life that's dead gone and over as you're watching this. And I feel like you're going to fight letting it go for six months because you're Scorpio and you're stubborn. And, um, and you don't like to let go of your, your comfort zones. But this really suggests that there is an energy in your life as you're watching this right now. Um, that you're not staying true to your Scorpio intuition. You're not staying true to your wisdom as a Scorpio that you possess. And it's going to take massive change for you. Go from a Ten of Pentacles in reverse to a Five of Diamonds, which is a Five of Pentacles. That's being left out in the cold by something. That's already proven to you it's over. It's not your legacy. It doesn't need to go forward with you. It doesn't make you feel good. Let it go. Ace of Swords. With the Five of Diamonds. Yeah, you're not going to be in communication with somebody in your life that's in your life right now in six months time. You and that person are, um, or that relationship or that commitment, it might be your job, to be honest. Like for some of you, this could be a job. This could be a relationship. This could be a family member. It feels very combative. This energy feels uh, like it doesn't matter what you say or do or how you act or what you what actions you take or what you focus on. There's an energy in your life that keeps you up at night. And they are in your life presently, right now, is what I'm hearing. Like, they're part of your day-to-day -day life. You may speak to them every couple days, but this person is uh, one of the five main people that you keep yourself surrounded by, Scorpio. And that person is blocking you. They're keeping you from your legacy, from your happily ever after, from your um, the beauty that you could create, Okay. Yeah, the High Priestess and the Five of Wands here. You're not trusting your intuition about this person in the next or this situation or this career path. And it feels like a person. It could be an earth sign that's really immature. Okay, with the Jack of Diamonds. And um, it goes back to what I was saying about relationships. There, are, in, in psychology, Scorpio, they're going to tell you that the five people that are in your life the most, that you communicate with the most, that you have the most personal, intimate moments with not professional not people that you call your friends that you go to work with okay 
because when you mix private and professional lives, that bleeds into a whole nother level of drama, okay? We're talking about people that have nothing to do with your career. These are people in your life that those five people that you surround yourself with define who you as a, who you are as a person. And I feel like you're starting to wake up to that and understand that some of the that handful of people, there may be one, there may be two people that in your silence, you're learning are not healthy for you. You don't really appreciate having these relationships be what defines you as a person because you don't like their behavior. You don't feel good around this person. At the end of it, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're drained, you feel angry, you feel upset. There's this energy of frustration. And that frustration is directly related to some relationships that you have in your life at the present moment as you're watching this Scorpio. And unfortunately, until you address the situation and you take control of your life and you make the decision, Scorpio, that these relationships in your private life are bleeding into your professional life, into your community life, into your ability to be a functioning human in society that not only gives back but is willing to receive, you are going to be in this energy. So this next six months is asking you, and 1616 was on the board as I looked up, to make the change or the universe is going to make it for you. And if the universe has to make it for you and you continue to deny your intuition, it's not going to be fun. It's even going to be worse than how you feel right now. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody said... Would you want that person that's a Scorpio that things ended because they chose the immature relationship to come back? Mm. If that if that immature relationship isn't in that person's life ever again, maybe. But it'd take a really healthy conversation where that Scorpio listens and doesn't say a damn thing and understands how they chose to make me feel left out in the cold. So there's something here about you, Scorpio, where you're changing your perspective um, the hangman and the queen of wands in reverse came out here to clarify this jack of pentacles. You are not attracting what you think you're attracting into your life at this present moment. And um, you care a little bit too much about what other people think. The queen of wands don't give no F. She is a honey badger. That witch don't care. She is going to do what she has to do because it's in her best interest. She's going to put down on paper exactly what she needs to. And she's going to manifest it. She's going to make that shit go down, um, whether people like it or not. And if people don't like her success, she's like, okay, bye, vibrate out. The universe will present you with somebody else. Um, the problem is, is that yours is in reverse. You care too damn much. And this hangman with this jack of pentacles, as you're watching this video during the Gemini full moon, tells me that the perspective and the enlightenment and the transformation that you're seeking is very personal. You are emotionally tied to something that is not healthy for you. It's not good for you. For some of you, this is like an addiction. Some of you, this is an investment. Some of you, this is an energetic connection. Some of you, this is a career path. Some of you, this is a relationship. On the bottom of the deck is the two of wands, two of pentacles. You're being asked to make a decision. That's in your best interest, regardless of how it impacts other people over the next six months. It doesn't mean you have to be a dick about it. It doesn't have to sting. You don't got to be an asshole, Scorpio. You just need to be willing to express how you feel. And if somebody gets defensive with you about that or isn't open to listening to you, your silence will speak much louder than words because that's what the Gemini full moon is providing you with, a safe space to stay silent when you don't feel respected. And there are going to be also relationships over the next six months that are going to reveal their silence and how they don't feel respected. But right now in this moment, with the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess in reverse, you're not trusting yourself about something. And that's what this six months is about. Heading into enlightenment, understanding, perspective shifts, allowing yourself to heal an energy in your life that currently is no good for you. The Major Arcana, the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there you have a divine creation. The Virgos on Virgo cards on the bottom of the deck with the Hermit. So you 
this opportunity is getting louder and clearer to you. What I'm talking about feels like you are now pregnant with an idea. Like, you, like when you turn this video on, you're like, a, like eight weeks pregnant, just found out. And now you're, at the end of this, it does feel like you're ready to give birth. Like, you know exactly how to move forward. You're going to sit down and write out a plan. But remember, about every month on a full moon, you need to rewrite out your plan, readjust, allow the new energy to assist you and master something in yourself. Allow these changes to happen. It's just dead gone and over it's dried up it doesn't work for you anymore it leaves you more confused more upset than you realize um just i just sense that you're emotionally at attached to something the world and the ten of pentacles both in reverse man the emperor's on the bottom of the deck and so you have the emperor and empress out here you uh scorpio you may have like a relationship in your life that's completely and utterly emotionally unfulfilling whether that's a significant other a friend a family member it's like no matter how you try to put in your energy in this situation you're just not emotionally fulfilled in any capacity and if you're not receiving the emotional fulfillment that you need in any sort of relationship some for some people that's your career it's time to move on it's only going to feel more and more emotionally unfulfilling. It can't get better. If you're already feeling some type of way, some of you have been invested in something for 10 to 20 years, and it's just over. It's time to go. It's time to move on. You need to make this choice. The universe can make it for you, but I don't suggest that. Some of you need to just write down tonight on a piece of paper with pencil and burn it somewhere safely. And like toss those ashes like a phoenix ash, a, a, like phoenix ashes outside. Remember, burn this safely, and um, let the let the universe take those ashes and rise, raise you like a phoenix from the ashes in whatever way the the universe feels is best for you. Twenty two twenty two is on the board. There is a fresh start here. I just don't think you feel it right now because you're so drained by something. I mean, you're drained as F by an energy judgment. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, in, or Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Judgment card. Yeah, there is an energy in the next six months that is not going to go forward with you. Because ordinarily on most decks, the Judgment card has three people, a man, a woman, and a child coming out of their coffins because they hear the calling. But there is definitely some people in your life that do not hear the calling that you hear. And those people are naysayers. They're, you're emotionally attached to them. They're not here to benefit you or add value to your life. And it's time for you to accept the way you're feeling and move in the direction of positive emotions, positive feelings, positive and healthy relationships. Okay. Five of Wands and the High Priestess in Reverse Spirit, please. Two cards came out. The Tower and the Fool. So again, there's a shift. There's something collapsing in your life. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Tower here. Okay? Something's collapsing. Something's falling apart over the next six months. It's not good for you. It's not healthy for you. It has no place moving forward with you. You cannot jump off this cliff. Okay. with the energy of that burning tower and with your high priestess in reversed, you're not even trusting your intuition about this thing at this present moment. And until you get clear about how you feel and what you desire and why you feel that way about not only your current emotions, but why you want to feel the way you desire to feel, you're never going to know what steps to take, Scorpio, in order to move forward. Okay. Let's get one last card to close out this reading overall. This is wild. The hero font in reverse. <laughs> if that doesn't literally say you are separating ties with the hero font. There is a spiritual belief system. There is a relationship. There is a career path. There's something in this present moment that you are committed to. 
and it is unhealthy for you. And when you finally make the decision to cut ties with this, the universe is going to hand you a new set of keys. Okay. A new set of opportunities, a new silver platter, and it's going to feel a lot more healthy and a lot more secure and a lot more mature with this Empress than your current situation. Now, and why do I say like this empress? Because at the end of the day, when a woman gets pregnant, the only person that really has to deal with those consequences is, a, is that woman. That man can walk away at any point in time and be immature. So there is a level of maturity and accountability and responsibility over the next six months, Scorpio, that you are embracing with your intuition, your emotions, and your ability to stay mature. Okay? Hear other people out, be heard, or walk away. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in, Scorpio. I do hope that these messages resonated. 2023 readings will be out soon, and I wish you all the best.